Hi, my name is Latwanda. I'm a Bishop State student nursing pursuing a degree in RN, a social degree in nursing. I'm currently an LPN that was working in a nursing facility for the geriatrics. Eventually I would like to own my own personal care facility because I enjoy working with the elderly. So this encouraged me to become an RN. To pursue this career, you will start off with basic A and P, which is anatomy and physiology to give you the basics of the human body. Then eventually, once you get into the program, you will learn the fundamentals of nursing. Um, in the lab, we will learn how to do patient care, such as doing NG tube placement, um, obtaining vital signs, um, learn how to do a history and physical a health assessment, everything you will need to know to become a good nurse. Um, my favorite part of the program, uh, the clinical sightings, because you get the hands-on training, the things that you learn in the lab, you get to take them out there into the field to the hospitals, the nursing home, doctor's office, depending on where you go, to utilize your skills to show what you've learned. It's an exciting feeling when the um, patients, when you come into the patient's room, they see that you're a student nurse and they they feel like they're going to get the best care because you're learning and you have a compassion showing that you're in this field to help them to meet all their needs. Okay, during the clinical sightings, we spend at least maybe an average of 12 hours a week during Clinicals, it may be at different hospitals, nursing homes, doctor's offices, dialysis places, depending on what you need at that time or where they can place you. But the hands-on training that you learn in the lab is really used here. You can um, do such things like being a puncher, um, starting IVs, um, hanging IV medications, um, going to the operating room with your patient if they have surgery. You can go down and observe sometimes in the cath lab. You may even get a chance to see an open heart surgery on the outside, just depending on what's going on with that patient. Um, X-rays, patient care, you get to do a lot of patient teaching. We focus on a lot of patient teaching because you're also teaching the client, but you're teaching yourself also. Um, the hands-on training is the best part of this program. You would do this from the beginning of your nursing career, starting to the end with the clinical instructor. After you finish the nursing program and after the nursing pinning ceremony, you can't become a nurse until you take the NCLEX. And this is a national test that you will have to take to become an RN. It's a very serious test. It is, it is expensive. But um, once you pass this test, then you have your license in the mail saying that you're a registered nurse. The hardest part of the program would be the sacrifice of the time that you need to take away from your family, the things you like to do, enjoy. You have no leisure time. You have to study, study, study. I mean, you just have to make that sacrifice to say, I'm going to take these two years out of my life to reach my goal, which is becoming a nurse. It's not easy. It is hard work. But once you reach that goal, you will feel so much better about yourself. In my heart, I always wanted to become a nurse. So right after high school, to make sure this was the field for me, I became a medical assistant, which gave me the opportunity to learn some of the things that you would do as a nurse, like attaining vital signs, um, dealing with different personalities, and just making sure this is right for you, that you are that caring person that that sick person needs to make them feel a little bit better. You can start off maybe becoming a certified nursing assistant or, like I said, a medical assistant, just to make sure this is the right field. And if it is, go ahead and pursue that career, becoming a nurse, to get in that program, sacrifice that time, get ready to study, Put your life on hold for those two years and obtain this degree because it will be well worth it someday. You also will need to focus a little bit on math because once you're in the nursing program, you will be learning pharmacology to learn how to um, calculate the correct dosage of medication to make sure you don't cause any harm to anybody. So math is very important throughout the program because you will continue this step all the way up until you graduate and you may even have a few questions on your NCLEX.